Thank you everyone for making the journey to San Juan Island. This is one of my favorite places in the world and it's obvious why. Um, I'm just going to talk for about five minutes and touch on a few key points. Um, I never thought that I'd have to int introduce myself at a Super Pot event, so <laughs> I'll just talk about uh, how this started and, um, and maybe where we're headed. Um, so welcome. I just put together a few slides. Uh, we've got kind of a dual focus tonight. One of them is to uh, talk about the theme, and another one is to honor Ken Balcom, who's here tonight. So Ken, <laughs> Superpod 3, when some people got rambunctious and went out and painted the rock, but it's all, is that Valley Road? I don't know where that's at, but somebody painted over uh, this year. Um, like I said, you all are here. Welcome to this kind of remote location. I was talking to John Jett the other day, and he goes, you know, there's a lot of similarities between this event and Burning Man, and one of those similarities is uh, crappy cell service, and, and it's a long journey to get here. <laughs> so you made it this far. Um, thank you all for coming also for all the people that live on this beautiful place. Um, this event doesn't happen spontaneously. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, one of our many conference calls that we had uh, a couple months ago. And, uh, Doctor, I'm happy that Dr. Lori Marino is here tonight. She's uh, put together a Scholar Advocacy Day, and that's really exciting. And there's uh, Katie and my sister, and I just had to take that screenshot. To... <laughs> so uh, my name's Jeffrey Venture. You might know me from the film Blackfish. I, I do have a, a job in the real world. I work as a physician in, in the state of Washington. Samantha Berg is in Alaska. She has an acupuncture clinic. She's an acupuncturist. Carol is in Seattle. She's got uh, three speech uh, pathology clinics, pediatric speech pathology clinics, and she's a speech pathologist. And Dr. John Jett, who is a professor at Stetson. So, uh, we really do have real jobs, and so this is kind of something that we do on the side. Um, and uh, I'm really happy that Kim uh, took the reins this year because there's a lot that goes into it. So thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. So I don't know if Jeff Friedman's here tonight. He's been a big help with Superpod over the years, um, especially last year and the year before. There's my sister Kim, and, and there's Carol. There's Lori at Superpod 1, and uh, that's Chica and myself from last year. So it, there's only a few people in the world that if you take any one of those people out of the equation, we, we simply don't get to this point. And I, I felt like this slide kind of encapsulated that. Um, if you, uh, of course there's Ken in the middle, and he's talking to Howard. You can't take either one of those guys out of this uh, event because without them, this doesn't happen. But you know, obviously Blackfish contributed to the growth of the event, so, so that's why I've got Gabriella in here, and that's Tim Zimmerman and, and David Kirby. That's Tim right there and David Kirby. David Kirby wrote the book, uh, Death at SeaWorld. If you haven't read that, there's a lot more information in that book than Gabby was able to put into her film. So any one of these people, you can't take out of the equation, um, or we simply wouldn't be here tonight. But there's one person in here that doesn't get mentioned a whole lot, and, and it's Dr. Astrid Van Ginniken. And without Astrid, she's the one that... bridged the gap between uh, Ken and, and SeaWorld, basically, and, and I'll tell you a little bit about her story right now. Mm -hmm. um, so here's what I mean. I mean, look at Florida. All the ex-trainers, except for John Hargrove in the film Blackfish, are all from the Florida park. You know, you would think that it might be the San Diego park, which is a lot closer <laughs> geographically. So how do you bridge the gap between Friday Harbor and, and Orlando, Florida? And, and I'm going to tell you that right now. So there's Goodman back in 1982. She's one of the most famous first laundered whales between SeaWorld and the Dolphinarium Hargerwhite. Most people know about the Morgan story, but you know SeaWorld was doing this 20 years ago, and Goodman is is what really brought. Uh, by the way, Dr. Van Ginniken is an MD, PhD, super sweet, smart, um, energetic lady. She uh, works at the University of Erasmus in in Rotterdam, and then was co-principal investigator with Ken for several years, and, and she met Goodwin at um, 
the Dolphinarium back in the mid 1980s and and told me how you know even though this was a captive animal it kind of opened her heart and she really just took a, an interest in Goodwin and um, so here's the Goodwin story she was collected by SeaWorld in 1976 and um, basically in fact the name of the boat that collected Goodwin was the, the Goodwin uh, Brad Andrews and SeaWorld personnel were on that boat um, this was a plan that they had and uh, so she was collected in 76 and then laundered to Orlando in 1987. Here's the letter from uh, Dr. Lanny Cornell uh, proposing to trade some Taiji captured uh, false killer whales for Goodwin, and that's eventually what happened. So Goodwin started at SeaWorld of Orlando just a few days before I did, and, um, and with Goodwin uh, came Astrid. Um, so uh, Astrid followed uh, Goodwin, uh, the laundered whale. She visited uh, Goodwin and myself 17 times um, over about an eight-year period. Uh, she's off during the summer months and she'd come and spend hours and hours filming uh, Goodwin, taking pictures, sharing her stories with me, um, which eventually led to her inviting me out to Ken's place in, in 1996 and Kelly was there and Stephen Jacobs was there and, and Howard and, and it just really changed my life. So. Um, Astrid is a key player here. Um, I said in here, this led to something not previously accomplished, basically a bridge between SeaWorld trainers and the Center for Whale Research. So that's how you bridge Orlando to Friday Harbor. Mm -hmm. She wrote a great book in 2007, uh, and it was recently translated into English a few years ago, um, called Together This Is Our Home, An Orca's Journey Through Life, and it's based on Goodwin's story with a happier, with more of a free, uh, a free willy ending uh, in her book. But um, if you haven't read that book, it's, it's an incredible book. Um, here's Dave and uh, Astrid and myself, uh, just a, one random visit back in the day. Uh, one time I asked Ken about some books that he'd recommend, and he, he pulled these out of his bookshelf, and I just thought I'd share that because those are all uh, incredible books. There's another picture from 08, Astrid, Ken, and Chica. So everything changed, as you guys know, in, in February of 2010, um, Tilikum killed Don Brancho, and that basically was a catalyst that created an information vacuum. Um, and like I said, Carol, myself, John Jett, and Samantha Burr, we had moved away from SeaWorld both geographically but also professionally. We all had um, our own uh, careers and weren't looking in the rearview mirror, so to speak, for SeaWorld to show up with, with the van. So um, it created an information vacuum, but it also triggered uh, an OSHA investigation. And so we literally spent, I don't know, Carol, thousands of hours just kind of sharing what knowledge we had with OSHA. And one reason why John Black, the attorney for OSHA, was so effective is that uh, Laura Paget had put together such a great case, and he litigated that case. What SeaWorld used to do historically was use um, industry terms that the, the attorneys could never understand, and we just really got those guys dialed in, and he just um, rolled them in court, and it was really an incredible uh, outcome. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is actually a blurry image of the rescue attempt. I just, every time I see that, it's just people rushing to, to grab a neck to try to save Dawn. That's the only picture that exists of, of efforts to save her. Um, Superpod 1 uh, uh, sprung out of, I guess, all the depressing stories that the four of us were sharing with the OSHA investigation. Um, we had an ORCA aware group that included the, the ORCA project and Howard and, and Candace Whiting and, and uh, my sister and um, about a dozen other people. And we, we uh, Tim Zimmerman uh, and I kind of hosted the group. It was called ORCA aware. It was a private Google group. And I guess you can say it was a precursor to the modern superpod group. Um, so we just got kind of bummed out like talking about this depressing captivity story the whole time. So um, as Elizabeth Bad wrote in her great article last week, um, this was really kind of a, a grounding, a, a, a reaction to all that kind of negativity. We just wanted to get back and see some wild whales. I mean, you know how it changes you once you get out on that boat. And, and that's, uh, Carol was already living in Seattle. She had seen whales and I had been out here in 96. And so we just kind of got together. And um, as Kim pointed out, um, because all these whistleblowers were located in one spot, um, it ended up attracting a film crew and, and a guy writing a book called Death at SeaWorld. So that's kind of how it all started, but uh, we didn't follow them, they followed us. They both, you know, they wanted to write these books and, 
and, let, and it eventually became Blackfish. So that's David Kirby interviewing Sam at Superpod 1. Um, Superpod 2 grew, um, the Blackfish wasn't finished, David Kirby also used it at, uh, at the, uh, was it the Grange? He had a, a book signing thing and that's where I first met Rachel and Adam. I, I don't know if Adam was there that first time, yeah. Um, but a lot of people showed up, uh, it was, uh, you know, standing room only and, and it was a great book launch. And, um, and what the, uh, Cheek actually made this map, this just depicts where everyone stayed. We all rented houses. <laughs> Superpod 2 also had a, a Sam, the late great Sam Simon was here. He saw whales with us for the very first time. And uh, it was, and then broadcast his radio program from the best western downtown. And, and uh, it was a lot of fun. That's Jared Goodman from, from PETA. And Jeff Kerr, he's the attorney that litigated the 13th Amendment case against uh, SeaWorld, which they lost in federal court. But, it, it kind of raised the stature of the whole idea of, of you know, these animals are slaves. <clears throat> Here's some people that are here to, uh, tonight. And uh, that's Tim Zimmerman next to Sam, and of course Dr. Ingrid Bisser, Carol, and Eric are here at uh, Superpod 2. Just some fun times. There's Elizabeth Batt and, and John Jett and Sam. I just put that on there from, this was the year of the mole. So, <laughs> everybody thought that uh, SeaWorld was, uh, you know, it was all about PETA, and really the, the mall, I think his name was Paul McComb, he really started, uh, we had this, our Voice of the Orcas website, if you never saw it, had a countdown to when the release of Blackfish was going to occur, and, and there's uh, evidence of him, like, jumping on social media uh, initially to kind of figure out what was going on. They wanted to intel on Blackfish, so, you know, yes, he did penetrate some of these other uh, groups, but it was actually the Superpod event, what was going on with Blackfish, that kind of triggered Paul McComb to come out here, and of course, all he got was a, a good education. <laughs> <laughs> this is the year, uh, Superpod 3 was also the year that we first busted out the drones, and, uh, and I know Ken's now got a Phantom 4, and I hope to get to fly with him sometime this week. Uh, I've still got the Phantom 3, but it still uh, could be fun. That's uh, the Center for Whale Research, and that's everyone out on the deck, and I think that year was just incredible, incredible ending to a great week. Mm -hmm. There's that from last year. <laughs> um, that was uh, the gathering last year. Uh, this year I, I was working on this PowerPoint, so I didn't get to show up. Plus, I knocked back about five beers last year. I could have, could have done this presentation. But um, that was from last year. Here's where we're staying, out on the west side of the island, out on Smuggler's Cove. You can see the drone back in there, and then there's Carol and my sister and, and Eric. Uh, we also broadcast, uh, the Barbie Twins have, a, have, have an activist program every Wednesday, and, and uh, that's uh, John Hargrove and Sam talking to them uh, for their show last year. And John Hargrove, interestingly, saw his first wild killer whales out on a boat with uh, Ingrid and, and Jeff Friedman, myself, John Jett, and Carol Ray. It was pretty special to be, be with them during that, that time period. So basically, here we are. Superpod is uh, the future. That's the theme for this year. We're, we're moving to a biennial schedule simply because we have real lives, and, and uh, this is this is an event that will only be sustainable if we if we switch to a, a biennial schedule. And thanks, Elizabeth, for for that idea. Um, Dr. Marino is uh, going to be hosting the Scholar Advocacy Day. I think her and, and Dr. Visser and Dr. Naomi Rose will be on that panel, myself probably, and some of the ladies from Blue Freedom, and, and I don't know who all is going to be at the table, but it's, it should be really interesting. Um, if you need more information on this event, Elizabeth Batt wrote a great article last week. Um, there's a uh, hashtag Superpod on YouTube. There's a, I've posted videos from every year, and, and it does have a really interesting history. Um, like I said before, this event is put together simply by volunteerism, people that are passionate about this. And um, I was talking to Kelly out in, in the lobby earlier, and he, you know, it's really been amazing. Um, this, the gathering, that the, the effectiveness of all of us getting together and kind of working through different scenarios. I mean, SeaWorld stock is at $14 a share now. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> I just want to thank my sister again. She's put in most of the legwork on this. Lori's put in some stuff. I mean, uh, Katie's got a movie. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, if anyone has, uh, we're going to be formulating, we usually formulate uh, ideas when we're out on the deck at Whale Party Central <laughs> after a few beverages. But we're going to try to think up a theme uh, for uh, the 2018 event. The dates for that have been posted. And um, that's it. Thank you.